G'day guys, today I'm going to walk you through a neat upgrade to my RGB Pi powered arcade control panel. I dream of one day owning a real Japanese candy cab, but for now my poor man's homemade solution running RGB Pi provides a somewhat similar experience for significantly less money and less space. Back in 2019 I built a two player arcade control panel and fitted it out with an RGB Pi SCART adapter. It worked brilliantly, however maybe it was a little bit messy requiring two zero delay USB controllers, a powered USB hub, and a SCART cable poking through a hole. If you haven't already, then check out my earlier video that digs deeper into the retro-tastic high fidelity pixel perfection that is the RGB Pi project. Right, so here you see the main components driving my arcade panel, a Raspberry Pi 3B, an RGB Pi SCART cable, and two zero delay USB joystick controllers. And here's what's driving my newly upgraded arcade panel, an RGB Pi Plus. Like the RGB Pi SCART adapter, the Plus adapter plugs into the Pi's GPIO port. In addition to providing RGB outputs, the Plus adapter includes two sets of input controls. While this makes for a neat solution, there is some build involved. First you need to decide on the type of RGB connector you wish to wire up. Recommended is the Mega Drive Mini DIN 9 pin socket, however I decided to give SCART a go, partly because I found this neat SCART socket with breakout board. My soldering skills are rubbish, so having a breakout board makes life a little easier. And here's an example of just how much more practice I need at soldering. RGB Pi Plus comes with a pin header that needs to be soldered to the board if you wish to use DuPont connectors. It's relatively easy, but you can see here I've made a bit of a mess of it, including somehow messing up one of the ground pins, so I had to wire it across to a neighbouring ground pin. Not the neatest of jobs, but at least it works. Additionally, you will need a set of DuPont connectors, a set of spade terminals, a crimping tool, a wire stripper, a multimeter for checking continuity, especially handy when working out the pin assignment for your arcade stick. You'll likely have lots of wires to crimp, so it becomes very fiddly and very repetitive. Strip wire, break off connector, insert into crimp, Insert wire into crimp. Crimp. Check. Crimp again. Check. Insert into housing. To be honest, I cheated a little and ended up supplementing with some pre-made cables to help me along. Something important to note about SCART cables, a number of wires are crossed depending upon the input or output end. The SCART wiring diagram on the RGB Pi Plus wiki page shows the input diagram with pin 20 as sync on composite. However, my SCART wall socket should be wired as an output and therefore sync on composite should be pin 19. Additionally, a 120 ohm resistor needs to be added to the wire connected to pin 16 to reduce the 5 volt output so that your TV switches from composite to RGB mode. Once all the cables are made up correctly, it's time to install and connect everything. Screw in the SCART socket. 
player one buttons. Connect player one joystick. Player two joystick. Player two buttons. RGB and audio. Finally, switch on and hope for the best. Success. Now to test everything works. I was worried image quality might be compromised with my dodgy soldering, choice of wires, or the SCARP breakout socket. However, from what I can see, it is 100% perfect. I was unsure for a while what to mount my arcade control panel on, and then I came across this sturdy piano keyboard stand that is perfect for recreating something similar to that candy cab playing position. Another thing to mention about the Plus is that the button assignment is pre-programmed in the OS for all cores. While this can be adjusted, out of the box the assignment is much better than what I had before with the USB zero delay controllers, especially for fighting games. Finally, was the project worth it? Well, when comparing the plus board to my previous RGB Pi SCART cable, there's no noticeable difference in picture quality or controller latency. And it was a bit of a fiddle making the wires. However, the end result is very neat and a pleasing accomplishment, so I'm happy. Moreover, if you are planning to build your own all-in-one arcade stick connected to a CRT, or perhaps retrofitting an old console with a Raspberry Pi, then RGB Pi Plus is an excellent option.